hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is from megan kelly it says what's behind the sudden re resignations of miss usa and miss teen usa with brit meyer let's check out the video something weird is going on with the miss usa and miss teen usa both of whom have Very just weird. resigned like within, within the span of a couple of weeks of one another um you were Miss USA first runner-up. You were Miss California. So the first gal, Miss oh, USA, nice. resigned, Noella Voigt, and she said it was about her mental health. That's why she was piecing out of the contest or the role, not the contest. She already won. Oh. Uh, she said, mm. And then people noticed that in her post, the first letter in each sentence of her statement revealed the phrase, I am silenced. And then... The wow. Teen USA, Um Sofia Srevastas. I, I, I don't have it. Srevastava. <laughs> she resigned. Oh, Srevastava. Sorry, forget, forgive wow. me, Um Sofia. Um, she resigned, saying, "Okay, I'll look back on this time fondly. It was fulfilling, but my personal values no longer fully align with the direction of the organization." Then their moms, not them, because they they're under NDAs, go on hmm. on GMA. And also Ooh. sounded rather cryptic, but here's what they said. Fans online noticed immediately when Noelia posted her resignation online that the sentences seemed to start with letters that spelled out, I am silenced. Correct. Was that intentional on her part? I don't feel comfortable answering that question. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like she was silenced? Um, she is and she would be the rest of her life if this NDA is not being lifted. The girls need to speak. So I want uh, to make clear, it's not about what they didn't get, about the prices. No, right. It's about how they were ill-treated, abused, yeah. bullied, and cornered. Look at what happened to Noelia and Uma Sofia. Uh, so really pay attention. We don't want them to go through this. Right now, it's not the right time to participate. So you think that young women should essentially stop participating wow. in these types of pageants? Absolutely. We just don't want these families and these girls to go through what we're going through. Hmm. All right, Brett, what do you make of it? Hmm. Hmm. That's very deep. And you can literally hear the heart in their voices. When I saw resignation, I've never, in all my life, I've never heard or seen a miss something or a girl that went to pageant, pageantry reaching or in the course of it resigning i don't think i've heard that or you miss you see me something after going through all that work resigning and there's an nda involved why would there be nda in pageantry show i'm just trying to imagine what are they trying to hide that they need an nda for i don't know but this is just me thinking out loud because oh nah well, I think I should remind people that these are the first title holders under the we men. Remember the we men, the new transgender <laughs> director. <laughs> remember, like the we mm, men, I make right. a pageant mm. for we men. Mm. And we're like, yeah, you can't even say women. <laughs> so these are the first exactly. title holders under him. And when you have someone at the top who is clearly unwell, who is clearly mentally off, and he's in responsible for oh, all these young women who are very women. impressionable. And when I competed in the Miss USA system, man, they like they go after every little bit of you that's not perfect to make it perfect. And there's a lot of stuff that's very questionable. I was actually, wow. Donald Trump was my boss when I was in the Miss USA system because it was his organization then. But my direct director was a man who had been married, oh, who then became lucky. gay. And there were real weird things that happened in dressing rooms with him, like measuring my body and stuff that you just kind of like are doe-eyed, you know, because you're young and you don't know any different. You're thrown into this. But I See, let me just be honest with you guys. Nothing, absolutely nothing disgusts me like when a man that claims to be gay will stay in a dressing room where a woman is changing. Please, uncle, out you go. I don't care how gay as you are. As so long as you are still a man, you are born a man, you will not stay in a room where I'm changing unless you are, you are my man. Other than that, off you go. Whenever I see women in all uh, these Western women, oh, he's gay. That's like we're pulling our top. Hey, <laughs> kind of like mm. our 
doe eyed, you know, because you're young and you don't know any different, you're thrown into this. But I can only imagine with a direct like they have now running the circus, what's going on. Clearly, Mm -hmm. there's stuff that's really wrong. And my heart goes out to those girls because I know it was probably terrifying for them to leave their titles after hitting that high says a lot that something went really, really bad. But I can't say I'm shocked. I can't say I'm surprised. All we know so far is that the Miss USA, Noella Voigt, she resigned in a letter and the letter was reported. It was was the New York Times and NBC who obtained a copy of it. And she writes as follows in part, uh, there is a toxic work environment within the Miss USA organization that at best is poor management and at worst is bullying and harassment. Uh, went on to say, Miss USA CEO and President Layla Rose consistently failed to communicate, mm. and that's and that when she did, she was often cold and unnecessarily aggressive. It's incredibly jarring to try to do my job and constantly be threatened with disciplinary action, including taking away my salary for things that were never discussed with me. Oh. And if it related to a public facing post, for example, mm. were causing no issue other than not meeting her personal preference. She wrote, she included details about an alleged incident of sexual harassment at a Christmas event in Florida, writing, she was left alone in a car with a man who made several inappropriate statements to me about his desire to enter into a relationship with me. Voigt said that when Rose was made aware of her situation, Rose told Voigt, we cannot prevent people saying things to you at public appearances. It is unfortunately part of the role you're in as a public figure. Well, hello, the answer to that is obviously to keep a chaperone with her that would discourage any such behavior. Uh, Voigt said she had been diagnosed with anxiety for which she'd been prescribed medication. It sounds like it was rather unpleasant for these young women. Unpleasant. Can your savings weather an economic storm? Very unpleasant. I can imagine what most of them are going through and they're just sweeping it under the carpet just because they just want to win that title. That's just that some of them, they, they will go on and not even do anything. Really. I'm happy that this, those two women are, have chosen to even protect their children. And they've chosen to, you know, there are mothers to be, they'll tell them, oh, get over it, whatever they say, you should do, just do it. There are mothers like that. Yes. There's a comment somebody wrote here, in my honest opinion, I think that that what lies beneath the surface is much more darkly sinister than anyone imagines. I saw the interview with the mothers of the former queens and saw the wording of the resignations. I think that this is much more than just a snipey, wacky boss. I think these girls may have been put in unholy situations. That, that the boss was flippant about the complaints of the man in the car tells me that perhaps this girl, this girl was expected to provide favors. Mm, mm. After all, the man did tell her he was quite wealthy. The FBI and FCT should look into this. <laughs> look into what? You think they don't know what's going on? They know what's going on. Anything that has to do with women coming to showcase their beauty and all, there are men behind behind closed doors waiting to exploit them. Take a look at most of the Miss World, Miss This, Miss That. All most of them are one pageantry. Take a look at the men that tend to marry them most times. Just take a look at the men. That should be the answer you need. Most of them they finance the show, so you have to return the favor. And you know, as a woman, if a man is asking for a return or favor, asking for a favor and return, he knows what that favor is asking, the payment is asking for. But I'm happy that there are women that are out there that, that are ready to forego the title to uphold their values. We are already in that era where you will be punished for your values if it does not align with what the world is demanding. I just hope that they find peace and happiness. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care of yourself, guys. Bye.